very matted hay, uh, sorry, wool with um, the hay. Java? No. Good boy. Had a good boy. You have to wait till they're finished. And then you can go in there and eat. Yes. Yes. How's kitty? Java? Leave it. Java? Leave it. Good boy. How's kitty? You beautiful kitty. Yeah. Beautiful kitty. Leave it. Leave it. Come here. Leave it, Java. Come on. Oop. I don't know why she suddenly jumped. Got a fright. Hey, 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 hey. Dogs didn't do anything. How are you? Yeah, I dropped the bucket. Yeah, how are you, kitty? Come on, girls. Dogs are hoovering up the last of the food in the troughs. Come on, you two. Brindle, leave it. Come on, girls. Another wet day. Okay. A wet, wet day. This is a Japonica that was my granny's favorite. And I think she planted this here. It's outside the walled garden. And I've discovered that uh, a bit of the wisteria has escaped and is clambering through it. But it's a beautiful early pollinator. Bees, it's too cold for the bees yet. But I'm thinking of propagating it. And you can see there's long stems like this one here they go all the way back to here and there's a load of them so I'm thinking of pruning it back and what I just do is plunge this length into the soil and hope that it propagates because you can see the life is coming back into it the uh, greens some of them are and then some of them are just beginning to green up so I'm gonna try and propagate this japonica because I absolutely love it like my grandmother it's an early pollinator uh, it is too cold at the moment the frost is just clearing but if I come later today there will be bees buzzing all over it honeybees and bumblebees and other early pollinators it's a wonderful plant so I'm going to try and make more of them this is another uh, tree that I want to a small tree that I want to propagate crows are all roaring at me. This is a uh, bird cherry, which I sometimes mistakenly call dog cherry. It's our only native northern European cherry tree. And it is absolutely vital to biodiversity. 
Um, why it is so vital is because of the bird cherry moth. And the bird cherry moth will feed off of the bird cherry tree leaves, practically stripping it bare, but the tree can rejuvenate and relief itself. But once the caterpillar of the bird cherry moth strips the trees and it grows, it then makes like a netting to pupate here on the uh, trunks of the bird cherry tree. And once it comes out and pupates, it's at the same and similar time to when bats wean their babies. So there's suddenly a profusion of tiny moths for the freshly weaned bats. So this is tree is vital to biodiversity. And it's something that I've been talking about for years about its importance. And thankfully, more people are now talking about it as well as how vital it is to the biodiversity. We have a much bigger one um, over there. It's in amongst those other trees. This is another tree good for biodiversity. It's an early pollinator. It's in the kind of dogwood family. Um, those, um, I can't remember the Latin name for it. I'm no good at those kind of things. Anyway, these are, I'm gonna try and propagate some of this as well as the japonica. Um, sadly, the ones that I, uh, I've propagated of the dog cherry in the past, I've ended up giving them all away. So I haven't left any for me to plant. So now I'm gonna do a whole bunch and hopefully uh, make loads for myself as well as to give away. So, and right here, this is a, an elder that's next to it, an elder flower. So, and here you can see the snowdrops are, or the, these early snowdrops are nearly over. So can do with some dividing and spreading out, spreading the love in other locations. See along here, there's loads of them. And the hollies are getting really big. I'm so pleased with how the hollies are doing. So these are, here's the jack in the pulpits. Here's more where I've spread um, snowdrops uh, in previous years. So they're thin on the ground there, but they're gonna grow into more and more hollies. I'm very big into hollies. They're great for birds to nest in because the small songbirds, when they nest in hollies, the corvids don't go in after them. They do when they're in the laurel. This is a huge dead ash tree. I've left standing because there's two beehives in it and there are, or swarms of bees and um, a load of bats. So hopefully that won't um, die or fall too soon. But here, this is the other bird cherry and it's slowly tipping over. So I'm hoping my other bird cherries will survive. So, cause they are absolutely vital to biodiversity for birds and bats and pollinators. So bird cherry, bird cherry, bird cherry, spread the word.